Dr. Murdoch, I wanted to show you what I'm doing here in JMME, the Dominican Republic, where we're raising up young champions, Haitian and Dominican young champions. Take a look at what we're doing here. God bless you. Thank you. Walking right now into six different individual bedrooms, which will be divided up according to boys and according to their ages and according to however Pastor Sylvia wants that to be done. You can see all the outside walls are completed on half of the house. The steel is in place to pour the columns. You can see that the individual walls of each bedroom have been raised up about five layers, but we're out of, we're out of block. We're out of block, and we need to raise those up, obviously, to the same level as the outside walls. Now I'm moving towards the bathroom, the girls' bathroom. Now, for one of the bathrooms, there are two bathrooms. The one they're laying the block for is the boys' bathroom. It'll have two showers, two brand-new commodes. And then right next to it, we have uh, the steel you can see set, and the concrete's been poured already in the uh, foundation. Steel's been laid in the foundation. The concrete's been poured for both bathrooms, the girls' bathroom. They're con currently laying block, and we'll only get block laid for about three layers on the, the boys' bathroom, and then we're, we're, we're out of materials. You can see I've got a little bit. I'm showing you a picture right now of the sand. I have just a little bit of sand left, a little bit of gravel, and uh, we have run through the materials, but we have made payroll. We've purchased all the steel, all the block, all the concrete for about half of the house. The slab hasn't been poured, of course, but for half the house. So now I'm showing you the other part of the house. I'm showing you the, uh, we've put in a private, I added to this project because we've had so many kids brought to us. In fact, I'm showing you a picture right now of the four new kids that were brought to us. Two of the mothers that died of cholera, and one of the babies was abandoned, left by a pregnant mother on the doorstep of the church, and we've taken these four kids in. As a result of that, I felt it necessary to put a, a separate private uh, bedroom. You can see this right here. Just in case necess necessary for staff or if, uh, uh, if, you know, if, if you fly in, we know that you don't want to stay in uh, – we know you like the Hilton, and, and I do too, and the Marriott, one of America, that's where I stay. Well, I don't want you staying in the hotels I stay in when I'm here uh, because I don't know that you'd like them. They're clean, but they're, they're not what you're accustomed to. There's definitely not room service. There's not even uh, electricity or water 24 hours a day here. So, But we're going to put in a private uh, bedroom for uh, those of you in a private bath that will come and be our guests. Now I'm standing in the rec room. This is where we're on the outside walls, and it'll be also where the kids eat their meals. Hopefully we'll have, a, by the grace of God, a nice plasma TV for them. And this is going to be a lot of activities here. This is where they eat. This is where they learn. Now I'm walking into the kitchen. This is the kitchen area. You can see it. And the kitchen area has a door that goes out to another storage closet that I've added. A lot of this I've added. And uh, you can see that the trenches are dug in, and but we don't have all the steel. We gotta buy steel, we gotta buy sand, we gotta buy block, we gotta buy cement to raise these walls up on the second half of this house and the rest of these bedrooms. That's why I need your help. I'm showing you, I'm walking outside right now and you can see where I'm hugging over here in the corner. I wanna put a prayer tower, the circular stairway where you walk up and you'll be able to be up real high and look at the gorgeous, you can see a shot of the gorgeous mountains there. These are banana plants and mangoes, lime trees, and kids will be able to pick fresh fruit right here. This is 17 gorgeous acres that God has given us, and uh, we want to finish this, and I know you want to partner with us, and uh, uh, thank you. I've sent this to you and to your partners, and uh, I know that when you, the partners of your ministry, give towards this project, that uh, you have an integritous, integrous man uh, that will give everything that's given he, that they get to world missions and it will go in pure soil uh you've seen the house this is the home of champions we're raising up what i believe will be will change the french and you see me with the children right now in one of the bedrooms and outside the house and 
in a moment here, I'm going to let you hear them pray. In fact, why don't you listen to them pray right now? This is them praying, and this is them singing. You can hear the kids. I'm going to take you right now. They're praying. I think it's just very... They're praying here on the property right now that God will send us help to build this house. I didn't ask them to pray. They got, they got in a circle and prayed on their own on the new property here. Now they're singing. I've got to take you to this right now. Well, as I do, the Bible says that when the children give God praise, Psalms 8 and 2, it stills the voices of the enemy. Look, please, uh, as you as you help me raise up these young champions that will shake the French and Spanish-speaking worlds of the, na- of the nation, when you sow this seed, won't you do it right now? Some having compassion have made a difference. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was hungry. And you gave me something to eat. My mother died of cholera, died in an earthquake where I was abandoned in the streets. But you took me in and built me a brand new house. Why don't you help me raise up these young champions? Dr. Murdoch, I'm asking you for, for your help. I need more materials. I need more concrete. I need more sand. I need more steel to get the second half of this house up. It's been a miracle that the first house has been raised up. Please, will you help me today? Dr. Murdoch, I love you and thank you for all that you've done, particularly in the restoration of my personal life. If it had not been for you standing in the gap, I would not be standing here. I believe that I have the future champions of the French and Spanish-speaking worlds here that will be trained in this training center here right on the border of Haiti. I love you with all of my soul, and I hope that you are for a young champion. God bless you. Your friend for a real long time and your protege. Apostle Tony McCreary.